back to my channel it's your girl let's begin and today is a special day i will be doing a three-way collab with cara sean and everything ernie and it is so special you guys because cat is the first person to ever reach out to me the first person to support me the first person to believe in me on youtube um she's always supported me always shared my content even when i had five subscribers so I want to thank her so much for this opportunity. Um, if you don't know who she is, you must be living in a rock because sis be slaying. Like, I mean, slay slay. Plopping glows, as she would say. Sis can wear some lace. Um, she does human hair as well, and she also slays her makeup. We also have Everything Ernie, who I was living on a rock. I just got put on. Sis be slaying her hair too. Her hairline, y'all, yes. I thought I was into hairlines. Sis is into hairlines. Oh, she also is into makeup. She's also into fume and stuff. So make sure you check her out as well. If you want to see how I got this look, stay tuned to the next part of the video. Shout out my subscriber. I'm going to leave her um, name because she asked me, could I do a more detailed video on how I customize my synthetic unit? So here you go. All right, guys, we're jumping right into the tutorial. So I'm just taking it out. And you see this is a model model triple barrel. I got it in SR Silver. It comes with two combs in the front, one in the back, and adjustable straps. The hairline and the parting space looks kind of nice. I was impressed. Make sure you have your alcohol. You want to wipe away any oils that you have. Next, I'm going to cut out the combs. Um, Guys, cutting out the combs is pretty easy. You're just going to cut out the threads. Usually, the threads come um doubled on the combs. You just want to make sure that you cut those out um and once you cut those out you should be able to pull it and you should um get like a little opening as you can see right then and there um there was just a little bit more i had to cut out so i just went on ahead and cut it out and then once you do that it should be easy for you guys to pull and then once you pull the remaining threads you can pull off as well see it's hanging off and then um, i'm just going to do the other side and then once i do the other side they're both going to be gone i'm just showing you that it's easy voila i'm trying it on my head just position it to see what it looks like i'm looking at the um hairline and the baby hairs which i think are kind of um big that part of space looks really nice but i was like well do i need to plug it or not so i'm going to try to put the powder on top just to see and i was like mm, i'm not really feeling it but i also am not wearing my usual cap so I think that's what it is. So if you see me do this method, I um, pluck by pulling. So I'm just showing you that you part and then you just want to take strands and then pull and twirl. And that's basically it. You just pull and twirl and you just keep doing it until you get all the way um, to the back. I'm just showing you how I do it and I'm um, showing you how much I pulled out. And that's what it's looking like so far. So I do the same thing in Method again. You have to use a rat tool comb, guys. That's the easiest way. And I just keep going. I start from the front, and then I work my way to the middle and then to the back. And I'm showing you also that it, um, if you pull too much, it must not let you do it. And that's what it looks like now, guys. I like it. Then I'm um, just showing you that it looks real nice. And I kind of love that hairline. It looks real nice. So next we're going to go into the baby hairs. I'm trying to brush it back. You guys, I have a real big problem with these baby hairs you're going to see. It would not stay back. I kept spraying gas to be brushing it. It was just not working. I don't know what they put in these baby hairs, but it was too much. And I'm just like, what the hell? What's, what's going on here? See, they're still sticking up. So I'm trying again, I'm trying to brush them, and I'm like, this is getting ridiculous here. So I'm brushing again. Look at that again. I, it is it's crazy. Like I don't I don't know what they did. So that's the best of my ability. I can do it, and I'm like, what? Look again, again. So and now I'm about to just show y'all about me how I cut the lace. I usually cut my lace two or one spaces um, ahead of time. Again, that's the um, um, baby hairs. Um, not too, I don't like cutting all the lace off. I like leaving a teeny bit. So, and I use my scissors to guide me. This is the best scissors to have you guys. I got these from Sam's Beauty. If you can find these little scissors anywhere, they are great for cutting the baby hairs and the lace. So you want, you let it guide you and, um, by doing it, cutting it by one or two spaces, it gives you like that, um, squiggly effect. You can also do it yourself, but it makes the hairline looks kind of natural. As you can see here, I'm just letting the scissors guide me. And that's what it looks like with the lace off. 
so i'm just cutting by the ears too because um that um lace by the ears is crucial you guys make sure you get that um off as well and there you go you see the little squiggly lines and i'm basically we're about to just lay it down you need the gas to be you put the gas to be around your um perimeter of your hairline um before your hairline and don't worry about your edges because the wig's not going to be on your edges so it's fine and i put the um free spray on top to give it that extra hold um you don't have to do it but i do because i like my wigs to last a little bit longer and then i just fan it with a stock card you can use a um, um blow dryer and i just put another layer and then i position it to the middle of my nose and then i go ahead and go on the sides and whenever it rolls up i use um the rat tail comb to fix it never my fingers i find that it's best and this does fit ear to ear on me and i always spray extra on my sides because for some reason my sides don't never lay how they're supposed to and right here this is where i'm realizing that i should have cut out the um i should have cut out the wiring on the sides but i'm just going to go ahead and use the rat tail comb to lay it down and then i spray a little bit of the free spray on top to make sure that it does not lift and that hairline looks pretty good you guys like i i love their hairline model model did a very good job then i just clean it up with some alcohol i use my edge control wax stick um because i'm going to try to flatten the humpiness on here this is another thing i had a problem with it was pretty hard to get the humps out um i used my wand to try to get it out and for some reason the clip deleted i had to actually use my flat irons as well to actually uh to get it to smooth out and i only did it about where the hump humpiness is i didn't go too far down because i didn't want it to straighten out i just wanted it to flatten out where the hump is i had my um wands on 350 and it still was not flattening out so i don't know i always put free spray in the middle of the part because it helps it lay down flatter to me and i couldn't find my scarf so i used my son's do rag do not try to talk shit you guys um then i put a scarf around it and then i end up tying down my little rope um thing to uh because i wanted it to be flat because i told you it was still humpy then once i take it off i go ahead and apply my powder into the parting space and then i use my fingers to make sure it blends in well i'm like hold up wait a minute pause from the customization i just want to show y'all what she looked like before i put baby ears in her so you can see that um you don't have to put baby ears in her if you do not want to y'all sis is laid that looks like my hair widow's peak and oh i love it you guys so next we're going to go to on the baby hair customization um i go ahead and part it to make it look a little bit more natural and look oh my y'all they model model look that's mine that is mine guys all right so what i was going to do is just part where i want my baby hairs um if you know me you know i usually do my baby hairs a little bit different but this time i'm just parting and making sure i'm swooping just to measure it um i'm just gonna uh do like swoops on the sides instead of the middle so i'm gonna start with two on the side and then i'm gonna do the side burn um and which is pretty easy you guys it's self-explanatory you're just basically parting um in three places so uh once i part i clip it up and then i'm going to start with the baby hairs i'm trying to um pluck it it wasn't plucking so i'll go ahead and use my fingers and once i get it thin enough with the fingers i'm going to go ahead and cut it and I usually cut it a little bit longer than I usually want it. Then I use the um, foam to go on here to um, style it, to get the lay down. And then I just swoop it just like a baby hair. So you just press and swoop with the brush. And then I uh, cut it again. Then the uh, cut the baby hairs, not too short, but just short enough to get it out my eyes. And then I go ahead and pluck the uh, next baby hair that I'm about to start. And then I do the same thing. Now I'm cutting it shorter. The foam brush and swoop it, it's that simple you guys it's really not rocket science to uh doing baby hairs and sideburns and i'm just brushing it back into it and it's not i don't got to be perfect yet you guys i'm just basically prepping them like a rough draft to get them and see how i want them before i uh have them in place so you'll just see me um brushing and manipulating to uh get it to my liking and whenever i want to uh, keep manipulating i just add extra foam uh to manipulate it i don't use the gas to be or the free spray yet i only use that when i want it to hold so then i'm going to the next one 
and it's the same thing mousse brush and swoop mousse brush and swoop and i was trying to say that i want to do the um swoop in the middle or another one but i didn't i seen that that one was a little uh wasn't a little bit too right so i ended up cutting a little bit more into that uh that one so it could look right for me because i wanted them to be like together um but not too far apart or not too close if that makes sense so and i make sure i'm plugging it just a little bit thinner because i did pour some more from the hair and i told you these baby hairs are thick as hell but yeah you're just brushing and swooping and that's uh, my rough draft and then you see me try to uh pluck it because i was going to do my uh, usual uh big swoop but it was not working for me so i just was like eh, no so i just split it back apart and i'm just going to do two swoops in the front and what i do is the same method is going ahead and pull some out and then i'm going to use the mousse swoop and brush swoop and brush that's all you're doing you guys um just remember to use the mousse to manipulate it I mean, the, or the fun, whatever you want to call it, to manipulate it to get it the way that you want it. And look, voila. There you have it. That is what I came up with for my baby hairs. And then now that I like them, I'm going to put my free spray so they can stay in place. And this is the look. So I'm going to put some foam onto it because it was frizzing up. And then I'm going to brush it to get any of the excess excess hairs out then we're going to add a little bit of powder um to make it a little bit more natural and then out to uh, add some flare and up and clip the clips complete this look to me and voila you guys there you have it this is how you customize your synthetic unit to make it look a little bit more natural and not wiggy yes come through model model okay guys this is the finished look and I can say I love it way better. At first, I was a little skeptical, but uh, okay. Well, today I have Model Models Face Inner Ear Five Deep Inch Parting, and this is called the Triple Barrel Curl Twenty Inch, and it is an SR Silver. And they have a lot of colors um, to choose from, so you can check it out if you want to several days later i think she is worth the money um i think she's around 35 dollars for specialty colors 30 for regular natural colors i'm gonna make sure i put in um the link on Star monday so i end up getting a discount on it she saw i first got her she wasn't um shedding or tangling once i plucked her though she did shed a little bit so i do get a little bit of shedding i don't really get tangling i get um snags here and there I will say it frizzes more than anything so i would keep some like serum or mousse rapid lotion a leave-in conditioner anything just to um tame it and like that it was real humpy it took me a while to get the humps out so i would suggest uh you using a hot comb because i use my fire iron and my um, wand just to get it flat and plus tan it down so yeah i did not like was the baby hairs that's my biggest con they were like bangs and i'm gonna say like filler bangs because they were not trying to push back at all like it was kind of hard trying to customize this unit i'm not even gonna lie to y'all i was getting real frustrated because i'm like what the hell and i don't know if y'all can still see like it's still sticking so yeah i just don't know what's up with that another thing that i did not like i don't like um the blend of the ombre i don't like the brown to the silver i would have preferred it to be black some people don't like black i do i don't like um brown it has to be a specific black uh brown and i don't like this brown and i don't think it blended real well if the unit was all silver i think i would love it uh even more but i still like this unit it's still a great unit i still would advise y'all to purchase everybody is wearing this look right now you know the little crimp look or whatever so if you want to get the crimp look for um a nice affordable price then i will suggest this wig for you guys some of the pros is that it's soft the pattern does not go anywhere when you brush it out and you guys i loved this hairline um it doesn't say pre-plucked um it just says it's five inch parting space it looks real kind of natural you know i like to pluck my hairlines i did not pluck this hairline at all which i know that is not me at all lace is not soft but it's not hard either um it's a nice neutral color i, I think it's good for everybody and i do think that it this unit is um big head friendly